Hey everybody, check it out. It is Wednesday and it's a little after seven o'clock, seven oh two to be exact. That means what? Yep. Time for seven minutes in the morning. Boy, I tell you what, y'all have to get up pretty early to beat Joe to the punch. I think that's the first time, maybe the first time I've had somebody say hi during the intro video. But I'll take it. Hey, Joe, good morning to you and good morning to the rest of you who are watching or listening in the various venues around the Internet where you might be able to pick up the show, tune in, Stitcher, uh, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, all those places, it's all out there. And if that's where you're listening, that's awesome. I really appreciate you doing that. And you really, when you have a chance, should head over to 7 com so you can have the opportunity to say good morning like Joe has and join in the conversation that goes on here. I am super excited to get to this topic today, so I'm just going to jump right into it. The whole idea of clarity really played out for me in the last 24 hours. I've been, for a lot of different reasons, I've been working on a, a talk about clarity. And in the course of working on that, I said, wow, this really makes what I'm trying to do in this other project a lot easier. So I took that and applied that. And man, oh man, oh man. Has it worked out really well? So here's, I, I, I posted an article on uh, LinkedIn yesterday or the day before. Might have been yesterday. And the, the title of the article was Driving with a Dirty Windshield. If you hadn't seen that yet, you should go check it out. Um, and it's linked up on Facebook and everywhere else. So, um, Hang on, somebody's trying to break in. Push hard. Well, she's going to have to figure it out. So the 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 idea behind the article, right, was if you try to drive with a dirty windshield, then you can't you can't see what's going on. All right, come over here and say good morning and then go get ready. Somebody spent the night last night and now has to get ready to go to school. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning. No, say it where we can understand you. Good morning. Well, okay, that's good. Go get ready for school. I love you. Go get ready for school. Nope. All right. Now, back to what I was talking about. Driving with a dirty windshield. If the windshield is dirty, your view is obscured, you can't make good decisions because you can't see the whole field. Right? So we want to clean the windshield, but cleaning it requires taking something away, in this case, dirt and grime and, and the stuff that gets in the way. So we take that same approach and apply it to our business and our life, right? Our view becomes obscured by the other stuff that we collect as we go through life. You know, when you buy the car or you get it out of the car wash, windshield's nice and clean. As you drive, dirt and grime and bugs and all this other stuff uh, collect on the windshield. And so when we clean the windshield, we're taking that stuff off. In our work and in our life, we have to look at all the things that we have going on and decide what's valuable and what's not. And this is a hard thing to do. I mean, it, look, it's hard for me. I know it's hard for other people as well. When you start looking at all the projects that you have going on, you have to look at each one of them and evaluate, is this really moving me toward my goal? And if it's not, prune it. Now, if if the thought of pruning a project like that is a little uh, frightening or intimidating, that's okay. We'll just call it putting it on the shelf for the next month. right? And after a month... If it hasn't come back around as an important thing to work on, it wasn't really important in the first place. All right? So 
this is this is what I want you to think about today. I mean, I'm like even even with Lindley being here, just right straight to the point today, and no time for beating around the bush. What now? This require does require you knowing what it is that you want. But when you get what you want, when you know what that is, now I can start making decisions. You can't really make decisions if you're not clear on the outcome that you're trying to create. Do I go left or right? I don't know. Where are you trying to go? It's kind of like, I think it was the caterpillar told Alice in Wonderland. You know, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Right? All right. So get really clear on what you want and then start making decisions. Take away the things that are clouding the windshield, that are are, because they occupy this space up here in our brain, and they make it hard for us to focus on the things that are really true. I was having this conversation with a good friend of mine last night. We have a, a limited amount of time, energy, and attention every day. It, it's... There, there's a certain amount that's allocated to us to use every day, and when it's gone, it's gone. That's why we're so tired at the end of the day. Okay? If I'm trying to focus on two things that are important, then my time, energy, and attention is split between two, two areas of focus. But if I'm trying to focus on ten things, Well, now each one of those things is only getting one-tenth of my attention instead of one-half of my attention. Oh, that's tough. How do you get anything done with only 10% of your time, energy, and attention? So cut out, I mean, the the Pareto principle, right, the 80-20 rule says that that 80% of our results come from 20% of our our effort or our, our projects in this case. So that means that eight out of those 10, you don't need to do anyway. It's the 20% that's producing the 80% of the results. All right. <laughs> what does it mean when it's the end of the day and you're still going full steam? So... Here's the interesting thing about that, Joe. Well, and, and end of the day is relative. It, it doesn't necessarily mean 11 o'clock on the clock. I mean, if you take a nap in the middle of the day, it could be much later. If you start your day at noon, it could be much later. If you get to the end of the day, and, and so thinking... Our brain is an organ just like the other organs in our body, and for it to do its job, it has to burn calories. Okay? Now, there's a difference between your brain and your mind. I get that. If you don't get that, I'll explain that at some point in the future. But if you're if if you still have excess energy left at the end of the day, then your your body didn't burn everything, all the fuel that it was given. If you have excess, uh, that's excess energy. You you don't have excess time. Time is super finite, 24 hours in a day, every day for everybody. That's that's inarguable. Um, You don't have to burn, and so we do have to burn all the time. We don't have to burn all the energy that we take in. That's why so many people are fat. They take in a lot more energy than they expend. Just saying, I should have warned everybody, it's still toe boots day to day. And and attention, your attention is burned completely by the end of the day also. You either allocate it to uh, reading and self-improvement or watching bubblegum TV, but it's all gone. And you can't refill it. You can't save some attention from today and use it tomorrow. It just... It doesn't work that way. It's kind of like time. Joe, I need to, uh, Joe, Joe Owen, I need to talk to you. Um, so be on the lookout for a phone call today. <laughs> Definitely not fat. I agree with that. And so, um, so at any rate, that's, that's how all that plays out, right? There, there's a, we have our time, energy, 
and, and I'm using energy here from the caloric, <laughs> from the mechanical perspective. I won't get into that. That's very meta um, to, to think about it from a universal energy perspective. Here's the point, and this is what I want you to take away today. We have an allocated amount of time, energy, and attention to spend every day. What are you spending it on? Are there are there things that are consuming your time, energy, and attention that you could prune, that you could put away for a month so that the things that remain get more of your time, energy, and attention? Time, energy, and attention, by the way, is what constitutes effort. Right, So if focus is applying effort toward an outcome, it's really focus is applying time, energy, and attention to an outcome. So if you want to achieve that outcome, you have to be intentional about how you're applying these things. And if you divide that time, energy, and attention among too many things, then you're just not going to get the results that you're looking for. All right, that is is what I have for you today. I want you to be conscious today of how you are spending your daily allotment of time, energy, and attention. And if you find something, ask yourself this critical question before you engage in a new project or a new activity. Is this one of the things I want to spend my time, energy, and attention on today? If it is, engage. If it's not, save it. For a month, put it on the shelf for a month. If it's if it comes back, then it was important. If it doesn't, wasn't important anyway. All right, that's it for today. Today is Wednesday. Coffee shop show is coming up at nine o'clock. Be sure and tune in for that. Otherwise, I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment. Wow, that was a rapid wardrobe change. We'll be back again tomorrow with another installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. You want to say goodbye? Bye. See you tomorrow.